Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing Swain mid lane versus Syndra. Um, haven't done a Swain game in quite some time. Not really sure uh, why people don't really play him more often. Uh, I think that he's actually like not that bad of a champion. His win rate's pretty decent. Uh, not too difficult to play. I think that there's some things when you go into the like extreme high yellows that you need to do to ever win lane because I feel like he theoretically can't win lane without like doing a lot of auto trading and auto weaving but uh these are the runes that i'm running pretty standard with the conquer and the uh presence of mind having the tenacity rune will help out a little bit because they do have quite a bit of cc on their team merc treads could be very very valuable this game uh so i might even go for that i think building uh defensive boots on champions like swain is a pretty good way to play so Aw, oh, dang. I thought she would juke back, but she didn't. Let's see if I can even get out her Q. Okay, cool. I got it out. I'm walking back and forth towards the wave and away over and over again until she finally uses it, so... That's what you have to do to, like, get people's abilities out. Okay, cool. She even used that one, too. Now I can step up when she needs to get CS and try to deny her of it. Okay, she used Q on the wave. That's fine. We missed one creep. Kind of sad, but oh well. Oh, is she really not gonna... Nice, even got that as well. That felt kind of weird. It felt like when my W popped, it cancelled my auto attack. Sometimes League Champions are super weird like that. That actually could be a thing, but we got some auto attacks off and also landed our W, so pretty happy about that one. Even landed that. Even dodged her Q as well. Nice. This is working so well right now. Alright, I'm going to put a ward down because uh, I obviously want a side that I can play towards if I get ganked. I do have Ghost, so I think I should be pretty safe if I do get ganked. I don't think I can die. Um, Ghost is extremely powerful at escaping ganks, especially from people without hard CC. Trendle is a pillar, right? So, tried landing it on her. It didn't work. Oh, dang. Even got hit by that one, too. Just last at this. I probably shouldn't have thrown my ability there, but oh well. I think Cinder sounds like a pretty good matchup in a Swain because her range is so good. Nice. Even dodged that as well. I have Conqueror stacked, so. Nice. Got her flash. I'm going to try to beat her to stun me. If she stuns me, it's good, because then uh, she won't have it for the cane. Okay, or cane's not going to commit. I, I feel like all you need to do is auto attack Q and then flash, but... <laughs> I think we waited a little bit too long before like people rotated down. Their top laner is literally here. We had an opportunity to go for it. I think that he should have. But, oh well. It happens, I guess. It happens. At least he got some Swain stacks. I mean, that's what he wanted, right? It sucks because she got a assist and this guy got two kills, but I can't really control my teammate to, like, go in. I could have maybe pinged, uh, like, on the way a bunch. Even I hate doing that, like, when because sometimes it's so tilting, like, telling people how to play the game. I don't like being that guy, but honestly, it might have been a necessity to, like, force him to, like, do the play sooner than he did. Doing a good job of juking her Qs. Conquer stacks once again here. Wait, that stuns? Okay, I think I can get her, though. Yeah, I can. Nice, got her. The thing is, if you're going to play this aggressive on Syndra, firstly, you're not a lane bully anymore. My Q cooldown is actually lower than yours, which is... Swain has a low cooldown ability. It it literally is... It goes from 7 to 3 quickly. Syndra's ability actually never changes. The only thing is that she works off of her splinters. So... Um... I'm completely fine with trading. I have Conquer, so when I have that stacked, I'm just getting more AP, so my damage is even higher as well. 
I think Toronto might come mid. Dude, I just want to shove this out and reset really bad, but I doubt I'm going to have an easy time doing it, huh? Are you guys going to gank me? Oh, maybe not. Maybe you guys will allow me to do this. No way! I miss cannon. That's so... Whatever, dude. Whatever. I'm happy with basically getting a solo kill. I, I think I would have killed even if the cane didn't come, so I'm, I'm fine with it. I don't think I can do anything to fix this wave without putting myself in extreme danger of being ganked. And I don't think Kane is a very good champion at, like, helping with that, so I'll just, I'll just let it be. I don't want to accidentally force us into, like, a 2v2. Normally, you ask your jungler to come over to help out, right? But it, let's say I, I have Kane come over and Trendle appears. I mean, I was sick, so maybe I can carry the, two, the uh, 2v2? Possibly. I could maybe carry it. Wow. My W doesn't deal enough damage, so I'm just not going to go for it. That's really sad, though. Nice try on my uh, E. If I ever land it, I can get a good trade on her. I feel more confident. I have level 2 uh, boots, and she's super slow, so... I'm just going to not really use my Q too often because I do have mana issues. Wow, okay. I don't want to miss creeps, though. You know what? I think I can just ulti here. She just used her stun. We'll slow her down. Just keep on auto-weaving. Am I dead? Yeah. That's so sad. My damage just isn't enough. And my wave is ruined, too. One for one definitely isn't worth. I wonder what I could have done differently. Just go for an auto-attack Q rather than use my E and then I'm not forcing myself under tower, which did so much damage. I definitely could have played that differently. Maybe I could have only just went for an auto attack in E. And then, or not E, use auto attack in Q. It's four second cooldown. Your E goes on a lower cooldown when you use your ultimate, right? No, actually it doesn't. Does it? I swear, oh yeah, it does. It gets reduced by 20%. Man. If I had a ganking jungler, this person would probably have so many deaths by now because I'm actually hitting every single one of these. Uh, what's kind of cool about your E, or it's not that cool. Um, so when you use your E on a target, obviously you can see how it swings forward and back. If you land it onto a creep, it will like extend the range a very tiny amount uh, and instantly pop. So if she's ever standing in creeps, that actually kind of makes it easier on me. So, I don't th know if I can showcase it. I mean, we'll see if I can. It depends on where she's standing, really. Nah, this is... Uh, I mean, we got really good damage off, whatever. My teammates seem qu kind of tilted, which is uh, not, not good. Yeah, this is... Uh... This guy's diveable by Kane if he came, but damn, I really dodged everything there. Or she just missed. Uh, let's just pop Ghost here. She should die this time. Just auto attack and then run. No way, I actually die? Dude, how much tower damage? Oh my god, I can't believe I still die. Wow. Well, you can definitely see how easy it is to, like, definitely punish people uh, that even are skill shot oriented and outrange you as long as you just play off of their cooldowns very well. She's kind of just spamming it no matter what. She's not really thinking about her abilities, in my opinion. I'm not even dodging them, so... Like, she's, she's kind of just throwing them out whenever she wants, it feels. Like, it's not when I'm going for creeps and stuff. Now she has level 2 boots, it's going to be much harder to play. You can see how fast she is. She's faster than I am. So... I really wish that we just got permacamped mid, but oh well. Because obviously this wasn't the lead that I wanted. Especially with my teammates tilting as well. Like, the game is going to become so much harder now. 
You can see that now that she has movement speed, I literally can't play the game. Okay, nice kill on the Volibear. What is Kane going? Blue Kane? So I'm going to be a tank this game, huh? Okay, cool. I mean, she's still throwing out her abilities, kind of, without too much thinking, thankfully, so. Sadly, even just a couple Qs are getting me whittled down enough to probably eventually die to an ultimate, though. That's the sad part. Oh, and Janice here, too. Yeah, Baltlin's probably going to be roaming, huh? Is Kane going to look? Because she's going to look for a stun, right? I'll just use this here to cut her. Wow. Was well, unable to ulti. She has no flash, too, so that's actually really, really sad. I think that could have been a kill. Okay, time for me to just leave. I'm going to be going for Lyandry's. Ugh. Landry seems to be the best item for Swain still, just because your ultimate being able to suck everybody while applying the Landry's tick is super valuable. Or is it? Is it everybody? It's everybody, right? It's not three. I think it's everybody. It's been such a long time since I played Swain. She's dodging everything, but if Kane can just get inside, no, not gonna be able to. How's Botlane doing? They have no rift. Uh, I wonder if I can even survive down here. guy's dead. I'm literally, like, getting dough by the trundles, so. Was this even worth it? Me going bot? Probably was, right? I mean, there was... I almost got a double kill. Our team comp's kind of weird. I don't think the Zyra really fits in, but hopefully she'll be able to do a lot this game. Sooner just gonna kill. Yeah. Uh, they used heal, so they got uh, movement speed when I tried to use my ability. Oh, nice, but they did kill. That's good. Aatrox is still doing well top. I still don't have enough for my item. It's extremely tragic. I really wanted to just have Ludens. Or not Ludens, Landry's. Wow, I could have actually hit this. Where is this Varus? I was nervous about him coming back and, you know, killing me because he could have ultimate by now. Oh wow, you let me hit that. Is it because you want to kill me that bad that you're gonna like look for an ultimate? If I can get like one more wave after this, I have my Landry's and I have a way better back, even if I'm putting myself at risk now. I'd rather be on the map with a better purchase. Alright, cool, is Q miss, so I stay a little bit healthy for longer. I think he's actually just around still. Wait, give me that. Ah, oh, yes. Every single bit of gold counts right now, so I can just leave. Especially with Dragon coming up, too. Okay. I mean, ulti for ulti. My ulti will basically be up right when Dragon spawns, so... I think it's okay. And we have our item. So we're on a pretty good spike for this next team fight. All I need to do is get a good ultimate off, be around a general amount of people. Hopefully don't get hard focused, so we need to make sure that we're not like... If everybody jumps on me, I, I am pretty squishy, so that is a problem. 
use this to stop his base. We have Landry, so we'll even stop it even further. <laughs> it's pretty annoying. Nice. Also, they kill the Syndra. Huge. I don't have my ultimate just yet. Where the hell is this Trundle? Please don't tell me I'm gonna walk into him. Okay, we see him. I have my W here in case like we can use it to uh, slow him down if he jumps on my teammate. Okay, I'm gonna use it now. Nice, it did actually slow him down. Nice, okay. Yeah, your W being like almost a global, like for how long it is, is so, so useful to like get people who are jumping onto your teammates. I can even use it to cut off Syndra here, and then, oh, it should be okay, right? Wow, that doesn't get them either. I need to stop playing around Zyra. She's like more Poco oriented than all in. That was kind of bad by me to use it that way, huh? Although I was getting engaged on, so. I mean, what can I really do? I had to pop it just in case they overextended. Wow, I hit both of them. Every single time I'm getting W and E procs off, I'm getting bonus health that lasts forever. So I have 400 HP right now. Not bad. Now, do I want to go Rylize? I think just going for one stopwatch and then building my next item afterwards is worth it, so I'll do that. <laughs> wow, she didn't die. Throw this down. It missed. Damn, dude. I wonder if it hit. Maybe I could have defended that. This Varus is level 11. God, dude. Is dead. Kind of a disrespectful just trying to kill a Swain underneath tower for a little bit. I know that the tower only shot, I think, one or two times. But, uh, that was, like, a bit too aggressive. Dude, I really want to fight with Kane. He's, like, the most fed, but I think he's, like, mainly looking for picks over anything else. He should kill. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Doing what Kane is meant to do, which is clean up kills that... That you can't finish on your own, because he has, like, insane mobility. That's what blue form is all about. Nice. Got her flash as well. Good pressure. I mean, she's trying to defend a tower alone, which is pretty ballsy. I mean, if you're gonna be doing this... Probably need your teammates around. Nice. I mean, you die and you give her 1,000 gold, so it probably wasn't worth, but at least we get more towers off of it because they just spawned back. Okay, more stacks. I don't mind having that. We're up to 500 bonus HP so far. How much is a ruby crystal? 150. So it's as if I have, like, four. Or three, rather. It will be four eventually. Oh my god, if that hit me, I could have been engaged on. This Varus actually deals so much damage. He's one of the most fed on their team, so he's actually the hardest to kill. Did I just hear Varus ult, or was that... A d okay, yeah, that was his ultimate sound. We just want to play around still Arcane. He is three and a half items. I'm on one. <laughs> I'm on one. Let's just throw this down to see if they're rotating towards the Baron. Maybe I should buy a blue trinket as well. I don't have my W to stop Jan, otherwise I would from basing. 
Oh, this person should die here. Use this to cut her off. So now she has to walk through it. Okay, she got hit. I mean, because I got a conqueror stack. Nice. I got to assist off of that. Yeah, always using these Ws, just continually cutting people off from a position they need to go in because it slows them for 2.5 seconds. That's like longer than a lot of CC. A lot of CC normally lasts like at max two, even if it's a slow. Put down the slow again. I hit both of them, so they are slowed for a little bit. Kane is coming to help clean it up. Janna and Varus are both rotating, by the way, so it's a thought. They are rotating here. Okay, nice kill. I have my ghost still going, that's why I have the ghost. Oh. I think I'm okay, I mean, I have ghost. I'm fast. See you later. Put it inside the cutoff position so that they can't keep up with me. I did so much damage there, but I guess Kane just uh, wasn't able to... He didn't have cooldowns to get in to, like, finish them off, sadly. I could have maybe went even deeper, though, and then, like, used Zanya's. Although I think I would have died. I think it's better for me to just back off. Killing Varus when Janna's around is hard. We don't really have a uh, anti-heal, and Janna actually heals for quite a bit. Do they have anti-heal? They don't have anti-heal either, huh? That won't land on me. I should be okay here. I have my Rylai's now, so I'm going to be slowing them inside of teamfights as well. Zyra is going in really deep, but Kane did not commit because he's going for somebody else. Kind of an awkward team fight. Okay, I'm gonna buy this. Zyra died because the cane did not go on the same target. A little awkward. Now, I can be huge utility at this point. So, what happens is I press R, I try to get near people. Close. You might go for it, huh? Yeah, I don't want to be the one to face check. Oh, so close to landing it on her. This is warded, so they know where I'm at. I'm going to just go back to group with the team. Cinder is also on two items right now. We can check brushes with our W just to make it so we can step up over here. Sometimes people pick over this wall and I don't want to get hit. Alright, Kane, it's all up to you, really, kind of. Trundle went bot and he's the person with smite, so... Zyra, do you really do it that fast? It feels like it's kind of slow. I'm kind of underwhelmed by how fast we're doing this. You want to start it and do it before the trundle appears? Yeah, we got it, actually. Never mind. Not even close. But that was also with everybody else being there. I don't know how much damage Zyra was really doing. I mean, I, I cut them off, but... There wasn't any follow-up. Oh, wait. This guy's alone. Nice. And this person probably dies as well. Even if she ulties, I don't think she can live. The Varus messed up with like his positioning and went top alone without Janna and she couldn't even reach him in time so he just dies because of it. Cinder's gonna step up for a stun. I wonder if I can use my E at the same time to snare her. I'm okay with getting stunned as long as I have my teammates around because they can follow it up after. Dude, that damage, my goodness. He's trying to ult? No, you don't even have ult. What is he trying to accomplish here? Okay, got her flash. Alright. I think the game is just over. I have no idea why this guy just flashed in. That was, uh... <laughs> yeah, Trenold just gave up. You can see that he gave up. I'll just go in. Yeah, you have people just on top of you. I used the Zonis at the very end to keep myself alive. So, anyways, it looks like GG Jungle Gap. Dude, I, I literally got her super low, and the only reason why I, like, messed up lane that hard is because 
I was unable to tell him to go in faster because you had no flash. And also she stunned as well, I think, so. Anyways, GG to still Kane. I mean, he popped off. I think he did a good job. So yeah, Swain mid. You can see my damage dealt for my KDA is actually insane. Like, I did a lot of damage, but uh, I wasn't the person that had a really cool KDA like his, but I still got to do a ridiculous amount this game. So, especially with the amount of gold that I earned too. My damage is really high. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary on what you have to do with Swain to win lane and be able to dominate your opponent. Obviously, I made some mistakes with diving. There's maybe some things that I could have done differently, but I'm still pretty happy about it. I did not realize my bot lane was one in five both. Wow. That makes it a little bit more impressive that we won that hard because it felt like we were actually all winning. I didn't realize. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a good day. If you want to help me out with the algorithm, be sure to drop a like on the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.